It's surprising how many misconceptions there are about power. And it's kind of crazy because if people really understood the true nature of power, their lives would radically change in an incredible way. And they'd feel a whole lot more free. But better than that, they'd have more energy, engagement, more positive relationships, and contribute more to their work. And the people around them would be a whole lot happier. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know this to be true because I have practiced it and witnessed it over three decades. I'm Karen Valensic, and I am the author and founder of Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. And I do leadership and team development where we can raise the performance of a team. And in this particular discussion, I'm going to bring that experience plus my martial arts experience and my engineering experience with physics to this conversation. So I want to share with you three insights that will help you embrace your true power. The first insight is that power and force are often confused. Physics teaches us this very clearly. Power is rotational. Force is a straight line. So it's, it's very different ways of engaging with our world, power and force. Force is like the hammer, and a lot of times we're out there hammering away. I think one of the reasons this gets confusing is sometimes, and maybe even a lot of times, people in positions of power will use force in the way they communicate. For example, telling instead of asking, making decisions without consulting, and also withholding information are all ways that we can misuse positions of power and actually use force to disengage and disenfranchise people. I've seen it so many times that with force, there's a short-term win, perhaps, but the long-term, there's a huge price to pay. And you can see that in turnover, disengagement, and burnout. Insight number two is power is not about size or hierarchical position. Now, I really get this on the Aikido, my martial arts training mat, because I know that I can, if I employ my true power, I can move somebody twice my size across the mat. If I try to do it with force, I can't. You might be saying, well, sure, Karen, you've practiced a long time and it's on a mat. But the good news is, is I have created a framework, I call it spiral impact, in which you can use these concepts to really own your own true power and move through some big stuff with your personal power and with grace. The third insight is that true power takes less effort, hands down. And that is something that, again, I've proven over and over and over. When we feel like we're struggling, we're usually trying to use force to make something happen. And I've got a lot of examples of that. And you, again, may be saying, yeah, but I've got to work hard. And I would suggest to you that that's probably a habit that you've developed. There are other ways of going about doing things. That model of spiral impact teaches you that. You might be sitting there thinking, sure, Karen, but you don't understand how tough I've got it, how much I need to tow the line, and i got to get these people to tow the line. Hey, I get that. And I have seen everything in the last three decades, and I know because I've seen it and I've witnessed it, that you can use power, use your true power, and, and move through things much easier. And again, my framework, Spiral Impact, has been validated third party, and it works. I feel at this point in history, these concepts are so important for people to grasp. And I know people are burned out and I also know that if you use power rather than force, it helps burn out a tremendous amount. And so that's why I am offering some free master classes to share with you my framework of spiral impact. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this, so if you're interested, go to www.karensmasterclass.com and see when the next session is. And if you can't come to the next one, there's a place you can sign up and I'll send you notice for the, the following one. And just think, all you gotta do is spiral and increase your energy and power. Thank you for hanging in here with me and I'll see you next time.